Yo, let's go and welcome to the video. This is a lot of math in this one. I will give you the results first and then explain how I got those results after. So if you just are looking for the results, they're going to be right here at the front of the video. But if you really want to find out like how I came up with the numbers that I got, then I will explain all of that after. So there's a lot of information here on the screen. I've gone through, I don't know how many different notepads. This is what I've been using to try to do all the math behind the difference of tier six and tier five for us because I've been linked uh, a website with a simulator and that's reflecting tier six having higher DPS than tier five, which went against everything else that I had heard and the research I had done a month ago. So I went and did it again. This time I added haste into it as well to see if maybe that's why tier six was coming up ahead in the simulator. But still, even with my, all the math that I did, Tier 5 still ends up doing more damage than Tier 6. So up here is a normal tank and spank rotation for Tier 5 and Tier 6. So we have Moon Fire, Star Fire, and then we get down to like a Fairy Fire. And then I had like one extra Star Fire after the Fairy Fire. And it came out to the same amount of time. We really do the same spells in that sort of rotation just you know a little bit apart from each other but it all works out to be basically the same amount of each spell so for the tier 5 i took the spell power that i had for the sets that i created uh which had 1240 spell power and i calculated the damage moonfire is going to do the damage the moonfire tick is going to do uh starfire damage and the starfire with the 10 percent four piece bonus that tier 5 gives so the whole rotation will have three moon fires like the initial damage with 12 ticks of moon fire so i have their damages over here and then 11 out of the 14 starfires will have the 10 percent bonus so i have those damage numbers over here and all of the spells total is 41,000. And then for tier six, I had, did the same thing. Moonfire is a bit different for tier six, I believe. I think the spell coefficient changes because it's 15 seconds rather than 12. So I think it's 70% of the spell power instead of like 0.54 or something like that. So even though the tier six set only had 36 more spell power, it's still, even with the coefficients, it's added a decent amount of damage for Moonfire compared to the tier 5. But where the tier 6 falls short is just the Starfire. They don't get that 10% bonus, so it's a constant, you know, around 2350. And the 10% bonus from the tier 5 is just too much higher, and there's too many Starfires that benefit from it for tier 6 to out damage the tier 5. So yes, this does not include any sort of crit or nature's grace procs or anything related to that. It's all random tier six favors your crit percentage you know you get that four piece for the five percent extra chance to crit on starfire along with that five percent to starfire all the other spells because of the gear gets another like 1.9 percent so even if we round it up to seven percent extra starfire crit i still don't think that that's gonna catch up or outperform that 10 percent bonus from the tier five four piece you know the rotations obviously aren't going to be like this every single fight so yeah me personally i'm still leaning towards the tier five i don't know how that simulator is calculating the damage to where the tier six is coming out ahead uh, if anybody knows definitely let me know because i'm i'm really curious please prove me wrong if you would like to see any of this information hit me up on discord i will send it to you and explain anything question wise that you might have so thanks for checking it out i'm going to continue on with how i got some of the other numbers here if you would like to stay and listen to that, but if not, I'll see you in the next one. So for both sets, I had you know, the same amount of haste. The only thing I changed in both of the sets was the four pieces of tier. I changed a couple of the gems around because the hit changed and stuff like that, but they both had the same haste, which came out to you know, 0.41 off of Starfire, bringing it down to 2.5 cast. And then Moonfire and the fairy fire as well since they're both a global that percentage took off 0.2 seconds from there so i took you know, both of those times and plugged it into a rotation i, I forgot to put moon or fairy fire at the start so we were applying fairy fire at 37.48 but it's really another 
you know, 1.29 added on to that. So verifier uptime would be 100% for both. Uh, I didn't check out uh, like with bloodlust or heroism, you know, how this would change. Maybe that could be where tier six pulls ahead. I don't think I'm gonna bother with you know doing that match. Maybe if I get super bored, I might come back to it and do that. But right now I'm still just convinced I'm just gonna do tier five. So I did some testing again, just to make sure I was doing the math right. Came up with like the calculation. So your starfire damage is equal to the spell power times 1.32 plus the base 605 and the idle actually adds 60.5. So I can actually break that down a little bit more and show you why it's times 1.32 and why the idle gives you 60.5. So for Starfire, we have Moon Fury increases the damage done by 10%, and then we have Wrath of Scenarius, your Starfire spell gains an additional 20%. So those two are additive, if that's the right term. So it's really, so if we had 100, and added 10 percent and then we took that and then added 20 percent then we get 132 so it's maybe that's not the best explanation of how the, those work it's not 10 percent of the base and 20 percent of the base it's 10 percent and then 20 percent but the idol doesn't benefit from wrath of scenarius it only benefits from moon fury so it says increases the damage by 55 but since it benefits from moon fury it gets 10 percent of 55 added to it so it's 60.5 damage that the idol adds so once i had my formula i could plug in the spell power that each set gave me i did that here and got you know the spell damage that i used in my rotation and took the 10 percent as well and then for Moonfire, so the Moonfire damage has two bonuses to it as well. So the spell coefficient is 0.15. So we have to take our spell power, multiply that by 0.15, and then we can add 10% of that number two times. So it's not additive or whatever like the Starfire bonuses are. It's the same 10%, just two times. So that's coming from Improved Moonfire for 10% and then Moon Fury for the second 10%. So I did the same thing as Starfire, plugged in my spell power, went through the formula, got my values for that, and the Moonfire dot is where I took a little extra math. So I found it online somewhere, you know, how it gets to be uh, the percentages that it is, or that it gets multiplied by from your spell power. And for the tier 5, it's going to have 12 out of 15. In the formula and for the tier six it's going to have 15 out of 15 so instead of 52 percent or which comes out to 13 per tick because there's four of them it's 70 percent of your spell power and 14 percent per tick so down here i guess i didn't do as well of a job with the first part but i took 1240 multiplied it by 0.5209 and we got our first value here and then added 10 percent and another 10% and got the total value and then or divided that by four to get each tick and then it has a base of 180 per tick so you take your final value add 180 and it came out to 373 per tick for the tier 5 and then did the same thing for tier 6 but instead took the spell power multiplied that 5.7 so we started off with 893.2 went through all the math and it added what like 21 damage per tick so that's it for this video if you made it all the way through thanks for hearing me all the way out uh, double check everything i did if you think you saw that i did any of the math wrong again if you want any of this information uh, hit me up on discord the link will be in the description and i'll see everyone later